Good morning. Matthew chapters 7 and 8 pick up in the middle of the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus tells us things to help us have a rock-solid foundation for living. He tells us things like, don't judge others. Work first on your own blind spots. And then he says, seek God. You will find him. He won't trick you. He'll show himself to you if you seek and ask and knock. Jesus told us the golden rule, treat others how you want to be treated. He tells us, watch out for hypocrites. They'll sound good. They might even look religious. Their fruit will look like, wow, this looks pretty religious, but their hearts are fake. He tells us, there aren't a thousand broad roads to God. There's a narrow way. And then he ends up the Sermon on the Mount saying, this stuff I'm telling you, so it'll be a solid rock foundation for your feet. If you hear it and put it into practice, when the storms of life come, that commitment to Jesus will hold you fast. So I ask myself, Am I just involved? Am I just doing religious looking things? Or am I really committed, no matter what the cost, to follow what Jesus says? It's like a breakfast of ham and eggs. The hen is involved, but the pig was committed. <laughs> Matthew chapter 7. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds, and to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by your fruit, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, 
Did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority, and not as the te their teachers of the law. Matthew chapter 8 When he came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him, a man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. Immediately he was cured of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed and in terrible suffering. Jesus said to him, I will go and heal him. The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, it will be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that very hour. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her. And she got up and began to wait on him. When evening came, Many who were demon-possessed were brought to him, and he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick. This was to fulfill what, the, what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and carried our diseases. When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other side of the lake. Then a teacher of the law came to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Another disciple came, said to him, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus told him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. 
the disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. When he arrived at the other side in the region of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men coming from the tombs met him. They were so violent that no one could pass that way. What do you want with us, son of God? They shouted. Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? Some distance from them, a large herd of pigs was feeding. The demons begged Jesus, if you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. He said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the pigs, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and died in the water. Those tending the pigs ran off, went into the town, and reported all this, including what had happened to the demon-possessed men. Then the whole town went out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they pleaded with him to leave their region. Wow, that gets me. Hearing what Jesus did, seeing his power, seeing his compassion, but being a little afraid when it got too close to them. Oh, Lord, give us faith. Micah 6, 8. He has shown you, O oh man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you. Do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Make it a good day.